incorporating personal stories is a tricky thing, um, either my own or those uh, whom I have permission, whose stories I have permission to share. Uh, because I always have to ask, you know, the, and again, this comes back to the accountable question. I have to, have to ask, is this sermon more about God or me? The gospel or my thoughts or my views, as it were? Um, is, is this sermon, um, as best as I can, uh, determine the truth about the gospel? Do I really believe what I'm saying? So if the inclusion of stories, personal stories or examples, supports that, encourages the truthfulness and accessibility of the sermon, then judiciously that has to be introduced. But I, I, it can't be a default where we, we talk too much about ourselves uh, and miss the point of the gospel's proclamation, the proclamatory movement and tone of the sermon, which is to announce good news, to announce grace, to announce uh, forgiveness, to announce redemption, to curry, and as Walter Brueggemann says, to, to evoke and nurture an alternative consciousness. So that's what I mean about, you know, what do we mean by rebuking and encouraging and correcting? It has to be a very skillful dance that takes seriously the sensibilities of the people uh, with whom one is sharing life and preaching to, but also is accountable to the potency of the gospel and the movement of the Spirit.